I know that Bowden would respect your decision to transfer him out. So would I. What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here. It woke up to afternoon's delight. So let's get to it. So right after, uh, in the last video, I went over how Carver kind of blew up on Stella. And you got to remember, Stella is his boss. And so I think she, I didn't think she took it the wrong way all the way, but the way Severad kind of snapped, he was like, he had no business like snapping at, snapping on you like that. And Severad kind of talked. Stella down a little bit and told Stella, like, look, if he's not right for this firehouse, he might got to go. He understands that, you know, the Chief Bowden chose him or whatever to be at the firehouse, but it doesn't seem like Carver is fitting in too well. And, and the way they are at Firehouse 51, he's probably not a good fit. He's a good firefighter, but he's probably not a good fit. Probably would do better in a fire, firehouse that's not too too close, you know what I mean? Um, he'll probably do better at some a situation like that. So I wonder if Stella is going to have to make this decision to let him go because, I mean, that was a big blow up. I blame her a little bit, a little bit. Not a, not too much. Bad away. I got a poll. I need y'all to participate in this poll. Got to go, go on the community tab because there might be some pro wrestling uh, polls in there. You're going to have to really scroll through to find this poll, but I'm going to put up a poll about who you blame between Stella and Carver. I'm going to do one about Gallo and Violet too, kissing next week. So vote in those two polls. I want to see at least like 300 votes, and I'm going to reveal the results next week. But to continue this, she is going to have to make a decision, but I do think because she was a little bit aggressive and kind of getting in his business, you know, his brother came back, and you know how he is with his brother. It kind of got to him, and he snapped. You know what I mean? And I don't think he should be fully blamed for snapping like the way he did. It was, it, it was building up on him. But I think at the same time, he makes a great point about does he – I mean, like, he really doesn't fit in and because of the way he is. So maybe – because he, he's the type of guy that needs space. So let me know y'all thoughts. I'm going to come back to wrap this up. Okay, you guys, make sure y'all go ahead and hit the like button, comment, and share the video. Also, make sure you guys also donate to the channel by hitting the thanks button below, or you can hit up the Cash App, dollar sign, sack exchange, to send any donation to the Cash App. Here are the top donators, and you can fit yourself in this list at any time if you donate at least $2 or more. Thank you. So, yeah, um... Yeah, uh, participate in that poll, like I said, and let me know y'all thoughts about this, man, because do you think it's time for Carver to go? Do you blame Stella for the way it's been going? Um, I like Carver. Personally, I like Carver, though. I don't want to leave, but it does seem like he's reaching his wits in with the firehouse. Might be time for him to go. I don't know. You know, but the way the way Severad blew up, I mean, it definitely felt like he was annoyed with the whole thing. So, and he's looking out for Stella. So, hopefully, she makes her decision with this, thinks about it, and and see how this going to go. I know Stella deep down the side doesn't want to give up on Carver though, and that's one of the things that I think that's going to prevent her from making that type of decision. But maybe she should talk to Chief Bolden about it too before she does anything. Uh, I mean, she's probably going to have to clear with him anyways. I mean, it's his firehouse, so we'll see how it goes. Let me know y'all thoughts on this. I'm going to talk about the kissing scene a little bit later. Thank y'all for watching. Afternoons delight.